Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Sunday. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I actually really enjoyed this. I mean, it's not actually I really enjoyed this week, and I enjoyed this weekend. Um, yesterday I was going to work, but there wasn't really a whole lot of Bravo things happening. And I think after the holidays and everything else, so my mom called me because she was crying. Um and she was trying to hang up her curtains and she's right now going through a divorce. And she was like, um, I feel so helpless. I feel like I'm dumb. I don't know how to do anything. What am I doing? And she lives two hours away. So not like I'm some savior, but I went down to try to help her hang the curtains, you guys. And I swear to God, Jason does all of this stuff here. So I would be in the same position as her. Bad idea. Anyways, we're back to talk about the read, but before we do, even though Black Friday is over, the holiday season is not. Everybody keeps asking me about my go-to skincare. It is my Bloomin Face Pro 2.0. This little guy right here with the press of a button uses microcurrents to lift, illuminate, rejuvenate, and it feels like a little massage on your skin. Best part is, is that they guarantee if it doesn't take away your double chin or you don't absolutely love it, you get 100% of your money back. So normally it's $300 with the link that I'm putting in the, the uh, comment section and description, you get $200 off. If you buy two, then you get the third one for 50% off. So Merry Christmas. With that, let's start here. Yeah. What a shit show this is. Now, boy, this is not gonna age well, but okay, cool. Jeff Lewis shares the real reason for Dorit and PK's split as he suggests that PK's alcoholism is not to blame for the Beverly Hills couple's divorce. Plus, he also is questioning her parenting. Um, that's a bold move to question somebody. Okay. Let's see. Jeff Lewis appeared on Nick Biles' podcast earlier this week where he offered some insider information in regards to Dorit Kimsley's separation from PK. Six months into their split, and as the decision is highlighted, highlighted on the new episodes of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Jeff suggested that PK's alcoholism wasn't nearly the factor that it's been made to be on the show. He also hinted that Dorit and her efforts to remain famous were to blame. I'm a little bit team PK, and I'll tell you why. Because... I have insider information. That's what he began on the Vile Files via Reality Ashley on Instagram. Um, you guys better believe if I can pull this up and we can get a clip, then we are going to be playing the clip. But before I get into the clip, hold on, hold on. Don't just jump the gun. Let's get back to it. So um, he said, oh, God, this is like not. Not good. I know we're trying to blame it all on his alcohol alcoholism, and I really don't know the status of his drinking, but I will say that I did hear that he felt like she has changed since the show and that the show has become a major priority. And I think over, he felt, and I'm not speaking for him, over his marriage and his family. Okay. Jeff went on to state that he's never seen Dorit at the park with her and PK's two kids jagger and phoenix and i'm sure she's gone to the park with her kids but look i don't always go to the park with my kids in fact i go once in a while most often my nanny takes my daughter but when i've been and also when my nanny's been i've never seen dorit with those kids while jeff continued that's a stupid thing to say while Jeff continued saying that Dorit's absence from the park didn't mean anything exactly, he didn't seem convinced that she was an active parent. She could be a good mother, you know, behind closed doors, but she's just never been there as far as I've never seen her there. That's, I think that's an asshole thing to say. Dorit and PK announced their separation in May with a joint statement on Instagram that has since been deleted, but... They said, we as a couple have been subject to a lot of speculation about our marriage, and we have had our struggles over the last few years and continue to work through them as two people who love each other and share two amazing children together. To safeguard our deep friendship and maintain a harmonious environment for our children, we have made the mutual and difficult decision to take some time apart and reevaluate our relationship while we prioritize our children. We appreciate your love and support while we continue to do the work necessary throughout this journey. 
Okay. I don't like the and it's like, oh well, you know, well, I haven't seen her at the park. Who gives a shit if you haven't seen her at the park? That doesn't that means nothing. To be fair, my parents were pretty heavily involved and um I used to go to the park without them when I was little with other people's parents or it's not a determining factor. I think that's a I think that's a little low, even for Jeff Lewis. However, the whole Dorit having a career and trying to blame it on the alcoholism, I, I already said this to you guys. I don't like how she is blaming it all on the alcoholism. And I don't like how she's meeting Bazoma or anybody else. And like in the first five minutes, she's like, yeah, my husband's an alcoholic and now we're separated. It's like, she's doing this to the masses. You're doing this on a global scale. Everyone is going to see this. I don't know why she would do that to him. And I know she has to be honest about her life. But I think that there are some things that you can keep a little bit more private. But also, if PK is upset that she has a job and a career, according to her, he's the one who pushed her into having a job and a career. You wanted her to have this career. You wanted her to have this job. You had the end through Lisa Vanderpump. You wanted her to be on this scale. And now she is. Be careful what you wish for. Watch The Irish Wish with Lindsay Lohan on Netflix, and you will see what I'm talking about. But hold on. Let's play the clip. Here we go. Thank you to The Reality Ashley. Da, da, da. A little bit Team PK, um, and I'll tell you why. What? Because I have insider information that he had a real prob i know that we're trying to blame it all on his alcoholism mm, which yep, she's yeah. that was weird <laughs> every scene did you know pk's an alcoholic yeah, full -blown <laughs> alcoholic an alcoholic i really don't know the status of his drinking but He's i will alcoholic. say um i did hear that he felt like she has changed since the show mm -hmm. and that the show has become a major priority mm -hmm. and uh i think over he felt and I'm not speaking for him. I'm just telling you what I heard. His marriage and the, his family. Now, again, I'm sure she's gone to the park with her kids. But look, I don't always go to the park with my kid. In fact, I go once in a while. Most, most often, my nanny takes my daughter. But um, I, when I've been, and also my nanny's been, never seen to read with those kids. And that doesn't mean anything. I mean, she could be a good mother you know, behind the behind closed doors but she was just never never been there as far as i've never seen her there and what if she's like i if i'm gonna take the kids we have to go to a like a like a a park in like well this is beverly Encino hills park this is all like yeah this is the beverly hills park this is cold oh. water park oh. so <laughs> i'm a little bit team pk um, <laughs> okay um i don't know i'm not into it i'm not buying it not feeling it, but maybe, maybe you guys disagree with me. Guys, pop off in the comment section. If you guys are not subscribed, then definitely go ahead and get subscribed. Happy December 1st, everybody. And by the way, I know I said this at the beginning, but do not forget to check out our Blue Mean Face Pro 2.0, especially if they're giving you deals like this. I mean, $200 off of a $300 thing that's going to make your face look completely different. And you're not getting a $75,000 facelift. I can't sell it to you. I can lead a horse to water, but I cannot make you drink. I love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow for Hot Messy Topics. Bye.